the Freemason guy, he was saying that Houston is like a mecca for the occult. And so you can find like oh, any, no way. Sorry about that. Any sort of occult thing you want, any Western mystery, blah 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 blah. And we were like, Well, why is that? And he was saying, uh some people say that Houston is on like a ley line, like a special ley line with the energies and then Oh yeah. Something else. But I went and looked that up and we are. So that we're on basic, we're basically on the thirtieth north parallel, which is right in line with the Great Pyramid. Oh no way! And we're the only major city in the United States that is at, that close to it, and it goes right really? through Houston, or right, kind of right on That's Houston. Cool. And I was like, "Damn, he was right." That's a big deal, man. That's a huge deal. Because these occults are obsessed with Egypt. That's like one of their big obsessions is Egypt. No shit. Uh, so they base it off of that? Or or, or it just helps? A lot of things. Yeah, yeah. A lot of things. It, yeah, I don't, I don't know if it's like... Yeah, another interesting thing is like the majority of... Uh, now, this might be more of a, a weather thing, but a lot of civilization is like built around the 30th parallel. Like it just starts to thin out more and more, obviously. But like... That's like a prime spot, apparently. And um, so, obviously, it's a mixture of weather and location and all that kind of stuff. But I think when everything's, like, energetically put, and they're, they're also, like, magnetic nodes on the Earth. Uh, and <laughs> I, I think, apparently, the, some pyramids on the Earth, pyramids all over, even whether it's the ones in Mexico or it's the ones in Egypt, are around these magnetic nodes which is also kind of a weird thing. Yeah, apparently the ones in Mexico are aligned too to like the stars. So when I went to Chichen Itza, yeah. I went there randomly when I was really young and I was in Mexico and we ended up going on the summer solstice or the... Oh, nice. So you saw the... Whenever the snake gets the created. Snake, yeah. I th- is it the summer or the spring? I don't know. <laughs> it's one of them. But I went there and they're like, oh, today's the solstice, so you're going to see the snake. And then I saw it. And then in hindsight, I'm thinking, whoa. Yeah. I can't believe I saw that. That is wild. That they, they the only day I've ever that, been. Yeah. Oh, shit. That is kind of wild. Yeah. Just hmm. by chance. We didn't know anything about it. Just dumb, dumb American walking down. <laughs> Taco. <laughs> Burrito. Let me ask y'all a silly question right now, okay? I traveled 22.2 miles to get here, and my average mileage was 33.3. Mileage and um, well, that's not even good mileage for my car, but the point is 22.2, 33.3. Do you guys believe that if the universe is mathematics, right? Whatever, that if you pay attention to the mathematics of your own life, you can kind of not completely but slightly budge your reality. Just try to, you know what I'm saying, a little bit. Mm-hmm. From like I could a believe that deconstructurally, like the Fibonacci sequence. Yeah, well, things of that nature. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, maybe. I mean, you know, um, Tesla, mm-hmm. Nikola Tesla, did say that if you align yourself at the frequency of, of of whatever objects are made, you could actually move them. Semantics. Talk about that. That's the prevailing theory. I'm I'm glad you mentioned that because that's the prevailing theory about how the pyramids were made. Oh yeah, sound technology. Right, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Frequency yeah. technology. Mm-hmm. How they're able to move shit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nicola, well, that's why he got shut down, man, because he was too good. Oh. They shut him down, bro. The more I find out about Nicola, the more I'm like, they took everything he had, everything, and he ruined him, and died poor, and mm-hmm. we still use everything that he invented. They raided all of his inventions that he was just way ahead of his time. It's pretty amazing. I almost, sometimes I almost think it's odd that uh, the car, like Elon calls the car Tesla. I just, I just think about that sometimes. But one more thing that I wanted to say about the kind of the math thing that Armin was saying uh, in the coincidences and whatnot was that when we did that Freemason podcast the other day, I woke up that morning, looked at my phone memories, and then saw the memory from last year. And uh-huh. we recorded the second episode with him exactly a year oh, later. Oh, yeah? And I was wearing <laughs> the same shirt that day. 
Huh. Like I woke up in the same shirt that I recorded the first episode. Interesting. So I just kept it on. Interesting. I was like, that wow. Is interesting. One year exactly mm-hmm. with no thought to it at all. Same time too. Some people are just connected, bro. Wavelengths. You believe that? Yeah. Yeah. Of course I do. Yeah. There's a lot that we don't know. We only use a very small percentage of our brain. That's real. That's like super real. I heard it wasn't. Or at least that's what they tell us. <laughs> and I no, that's guy. I heard it real. wasn't true. Damn it! You heard it wasn't yeah. true. Yeah, that we only use like ten percent. I don't think it's. I don't think it's that low. That we only use ten percent of our brain. I don't know. It's what definitely it is. true that we don't see a whole spectrum of uh, light definitely and everything. Light, of course, or like other shit, right? Like mm-hmm. other senses. Well, I don't know. Ten percent, whatever. Three percent. Probably not the full potential. Fifty percent. Yeah. I would definitely. I, I mean, just that. just think of it. On average, how just aware of their own lives are the is the average person, right? Are they walking around? You know, like do they know what they're doing, where they're going, why they're doing it, how they're doing it, for what reason? Nah, no idea. Nah, I think people just get comfortable, and that's really sad. Yeah. Well, yeah. for people like us who are like, I'm homie over here know? is making like the best studio in Houston. And I'm just saying, not everyone's supposed to do that. Except for the... <laughs> yeah, but I'm saying not... Except for the wireless interruptions right now. Ah. <laughs> but the point is, is that I don't expect everybody to create a, a freaking empire. Yeah. But I do wholeheartedly believe that every person can create a beautiful life. Of course. There's a lot of factors. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Some but, are harder than others. Yes. Yeah. yeah. No There's, doubt. Some has to be by necessity. Some people push themselves because they have to. Right. There is no other way. Yeah. I, I, I truly believe that if I had been born in this country and I had not had and if I had had everything that everybody else had around me, like my friends growing up, mm. I think that I would be just a normal person. Mm. You know? I think because I mean maybe not, maybe not. Who knows? But I think that 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 I was led to believe that that's what you were supposed to do. Go to college, get a job, you know. Did you go to college? No. Okay. I took some classes. Good. But then I couldn't, I couldn't afford it anymore. And then because I was undocumented, I couldn't get any help from mm. the government. So it was like if I wanted to go to college, I had to pay like out of pocket. Nobody oh, would help. So, so it was, just became a nightmare because I couldn't even work legally wow, yeah, to pay yeah, yeah. for college, you know. I had to like live off of odd jobs and just playing music. I mean, yeah. I'm playing music. And uh, that was it. But yes, I think that, that if I had had that, I would be a totally different person. Maybe not, though. I don't know. Who so, knows, right? So you're a, I feel like you, Roger, are a person that us, but also like a bunch of people that we know, all have so much respect for because of what you're able to create in your life. What is a piece of advice? That you would, that you would tell people from your perspective about going about their life and trying to achieve what they want to achieve. We're your sons right now. <laughs> <laughs> I would tell my kids, <laughs> um, or anybody else. I spoke at this panel at, at Texas A and M about like uh, following your gut and like you know people are gonna tell you that you know sometimes. Sometimes if you really believe something, it doesn't matter what people tell you. And I told them that, 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 that if you're really passionate about something and it's just the ideas there and it doesn't go away and day by day you keep thinking about it and you kind of like obsess over it, you, you, you have to go for, for those things. I and mean, that's what I would tell my kids. Like, you know, you can always worry about, about being the same like everybody else, you know, like. But you have to take those opportunities um, when they are there. And, if, if, and I believe that if you don't take them, and I believe everybody gets opportunities. And if, and if you don't work them right, if you don't, if you don't see, if you haven't been told, because that's, that's where like, that comes. If you have parents that tell you, like I'm going to tell my fucking kids, like, like you know, take the opportunity don't worry if, 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 if you can't go to college right now, but you have an amazing idea. Don't even worry about college. Like, try to be happy. Mm-hmm. Because even people that... There's a lot of very unhappy people that, that, that appear to be successful on paper. Right. Yeah. And so, uh, 
And so I think that's what I would tell anybody. And that's what I told those, those guys. Like, look, guys, I'm sitting here with, with, the, with surgeons and a bunch of, like, PhDs in mathematics. But I was like, but, but and I don't have any uh, formal education. <laughs> I'm sitting here in front of you telling you that you don't need an education. Not that there's anything wrong with it, because I was, you know, I believe that, that education opens your eyes to a lot of things. And the knowledge is power, you know, mm-hmm. reading and all that shit's fucking useful. Um, but but yeah, but but don't think that that is the only way to 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 play the game. And you can learn game. it on your own too. And, mm-hmm. and the learning on your own might be the most important thing. And I remember when you were first building your camera, your new mm-hmm. setup, mm-hmm. and you were I was asking you just about how to, how do you do this, and you're yeah. saying like yeah. I built this and had to learn how to do a lot of it mm-hmm. and the wires and all. I was like, oh my god. Well, that's the whole like believing in it and right. and that's what then that's what differentiates people from like the people who are gonna go far in life and the people who just settle i i i, I can't do that i can't that's why i can't watch a lot of tv mm-hmm. because i'm like what am i doing with my life and and not yeah. that i watch a lot of tv bro but but once in a while my my wife would be like Let's watch a show and i'm fine watching the show but the, once it gets like four or five i'm like wait 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 i'm like i'm like that's what they want us to do yeah, that's what that's what that's what that's exactly what they want us to do. Yeah. I was like, he's making millions off of us sitting here doing nothing and just being entertained. Yeah, and so and that's when I'm like, nah, like I have to change. It is widely known that the tobacco and diet industries lobby governments with scientific propaganda for years until proven guilty in court. The artificial treatment of our water is the next corporate deception. For example, virtually every nation in Europe has rejected the use of artificial fluoride. International studies since the 40s have repeatedly shown that endocrine and neurological effects increase after repeated consumption, even at the levels accepted by U.S. government. Epic Water Filters is the most thorough industry-grade filtration system that Houston Ensemble has ever used. They reduce heavy metals up upwards of 99.5% such as lead and mercury, bacteria like E. coli, and poisons like chromium, nitrate, and fluoride. Join us in our journey to living a toxin-free life and get your epic water filter using discount code Houston Ensemble, lowercase, one word. That's Houston Ensemble, lowercase, one word for 20% off your epic water filter.